Exposition Expo 2000 In this program, we plan to model Expo 2000 in Japan. From now on, we want to learn modeling from the plan and the facade. In the Rhino environment and in the top view. Photo plan into Rhino. Paste the photo. Turn off the grid and draw a range with the rectangle. Now select the lines and outline it trim. We do not need extras. In the perspective view. We put the facade into the Rhino. There is an option in the subset of the image. Which if vertical, the image can be placed vertically. In the front view, we delete the image's additions. By specifying the range. And with the rectangle command. And then trim it. Well, in perspective view and move the photo. In the center of the plan. Now let's explain the scale and work with them. For example, if we have a box, we click on the method. And bring the scale commands. We can give a dot with the first option. And let the number change the scale. If you select the reference scale option. Select two points from the shape and then set the numeric or manual scale. The next option is scale 2D which only small and magnified. Around X and Y, and does not work to Z. The next option is scale 1D. That can only be resized around a single axis. If we want the scale from the command line. The scale 3D is not written and the scale is. The same as the scale 3D. Only 1D and 2D. Well then, with a scale 3D. We set the size of the photo to the plan. Let's start drawing now. There is a series of arcs between them with a loft. Well, with the line, we draw the lines of help we need. For a vertical line in the views, make it easier to draw. Again, to get the middle of the arc. We do the same thing and create the helper lines. With arrows and the second option, start end radius. We create arcs. Start end radius. Start end radius. Activate the ortho option and copy the arcs. We will make three copy options yes. And make the next copies. So choose the curves and take the picture. All the curves we want to put inside the layer. Now it's supposed to have the shell that we create. With the loft command of the shell and set it to normal. Well, you need to give an explanation of the bottom part of the loft option window. If the option is do not simplify, the divisions on the shape are finite. And if we put a pattern on it, it may show half. On rebuild width, we can determine the number of partitions. Note, those working with 3DMAX know that each segment is larger than it is smoother. 
but it is not used in the rhino because of vector nerves. With UV's command, we expand this shape so that we can create patterns on it. Left click on the command and then choose shape. And right click. You see it widespread. Well, we see the template on the picture. Which is a rhombus and a pipe. So in Rhino, I apply the hatch command and choose. Its type and set the scale of the pattern to the shape. To edit the hatch explode it, try to delete the extra lines. Contour and array commands. Can also be used to patterning. Now we can put the pattern on the shape. Right click on the command and select all shapes. And right click again. Put the pattern inside a layer called pipe. And that's because if you choose it's easy to right click. On the layer and select objects selection all objects. Run the pipe command and give the number to the volume pattern. The next step is to create lumber on the expo, which has both structural and communication. We keep the shape and remove the hatch inside it. Approximately 20 lumbers are considered. Draw a line and divide it into 20 parts by dividing it. We draw on the divisions with the lumbers. If it was large, we would reduce the size of the boxes by a scale 1D. And we copy to complete the shape. Now we create horizontal lines that are like stairs. Draw a box and set the scale. With the array along curve command. We create a shape along the path. Draw a line and we apply the command. Set a distance of 30 centimeters. So now you select all the objects and put them in a separate layer. First we draw a page below. With the command array linear and the number of 21. Duplicate. Now we change the scale of the page below. To complete the lumbers. These shapes should be placed on the original shape. So we will do this with the command flow along surface. And select the lumbers. Right click on the layer and select the objects. And then right click again. Check the page and the shape. After choosing where you click. If you click on the right of the page. Then on the left side of the patterns form below. So let's control plus Z and do it first. Now click on the left side of the page and the left pane. OK was. Now the pages are left between the lumber. And we have to complete it. Draw it with the plane. And put it in the layer. With the array linear command, we copy the page in its entirety. We will clean the last one. So again with flow along surface. And selecting the page. And clicking on the following page and file. We will reproduce them in its entirety.
the final shape was created. 